What is up guys? I am back with uh, day two of trying to get this thing all done and I got a lot of update videos on how to, on where I am right now. So right now I'm going out to Lowe's to get the drill bits for the spot welds and uh, I'll be back and I'm going to tear that straight off, throw in that one. And then I'm going to bolt it in with a bunch of little 10 mil screws. So I, uh, in the future when I do something pretty crazy with this, that uh, it'll be really nice to take off. It should be fine though, just a bunch of 10 mil screws with thread locker. It'll make it a little bit harder because I can't just like put the new piece and just weld the seam. But eh, we'll get there. Alright, time to get the lows. Alright, so I got... Basically the front impact bar off. I got it right here. You can see it just like that. So I got the whole thing removed. The only issue here is the actual spot welds I didn't remove. I just wanted to get the big chunk out of the way just to start. So I keep saying impact. I meant radiator support. Alright, so we got this spot weld tab. I took that I, I wanted to see if I can take that one off with a different method, and I did. I just need to grind it down and then it'll be perfect. And then these ones, I, I want to I wanna figure out my new strategy again with those. And I got this plate down here. And then just on the inside right there. So that's about all I have left. This is much thinner than the other thing was. So it should be easier. Yeah, you can see I had I wanted to use a spot weld tool, but the spot weld tool wasn't working. So I'm switching to just using a very large drill bit, drilling it all the way until it hits the other side of that, and then I'm just uh, cutting it up and then removing it. So I'll update you. All right, so we got the all the spot welds grinded off, and that was actually really hard because I could not find a spot welding drill drill bit tool. So I actually ended up using my angle grinder to use a flat disc to basically make a tic tac toe pattern. You can kind of see it here because this I was still learning on here. I went pretty deep, but I'll fill that with paint. So I went pretty deep over there a little too. But what I ended up doing is basically cutting a tic tac toe pattern with the spot weld in the middle and then just uh, using a hammer and a basically flathead as a chisel chiseling everything off and then being able to grind down the actual leftover spot weld so I think it turned out pretty well we got nothing everything's been like 80 grit sandpapered down nothing there it's, it's a little rough, but I'm going to get some uh, some primer and paint on it. And I'm going to clean everything up. I think it'll be great. Roll time. Roll, Roll time. time. <laughs> All right, so I finally got most of the car done. I haven't been doing many update videos just because I wanted to devote all my attention to the car, and filming was making it kind of difficult. So you can see right here, I got the new crash bar. Uh, it needs to be repainted, but I will do that bit. It's, there's only some primer on here. I have, uh, I just, these are on just temporarily because I needed to uh, tap the holes and put those in because none of the holes are tapped, as you can see. I got this thing test fit up. I just need another nut for down there. Uh, yeah, you can see I got some pictures I'll throw in right now. and then come back to this right here so you can see the kind of the difference you'll see, I think this is about the same angle I took that picture so I don't know got good progress good forward moving progress uh, the only thing I have holding this thing on right now are just these little baby washer uh, washer ended bolts right here this bolt and of course the nut on this side so I'm gonna add more here probably another one there there uh, a couple going uh, underneath it. How you doing? And then a couple down. And of course inside here. 
going into the frame rail. And I think I can just weld the nut inside there and just uh, use a captive nut so it's easier to take off. And I've also started putting back uh, the wiring a little bit. I uh, just put the big end of a zip tie through there and then routed it back up through here. So if that was rope, it would fall out. But since the zip tie end is bigger, it sticks. And then that holds the little bit of the harness here. That's supposed to be used. You can actually see damage from the accident that's on the, the wiring. But uh, it's not frayed, so it lives another day. I gotta retap the uh, impact uh, sensor holes. Got to do that as well. As long as, as well as uh, take these off, repaint everything. So yeah, I'm gonna repaint everything. Nice glossy color. So I will update you guys on that. All right, so we've been working on the car pretty much all day, and what I've ended up getting is the bolt two bolts here one bolt down there and then two bolts on the inside of the frame rail for each side and now I moved on to installing the AC condenser and the radiator both of those are gonna drop back in behind here and I'm interested to see if they fit with the bolt right there and the bolt right there but they should so that's an update Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pouring water into my coolant fill neck and I'm just making sure it's coming out of the radiator just to flush the radiator out because it is brand new. I'll pour more water in right here. Just tonight hear it coming out. That's water out of the radiator and not uh, leftover coolant out of there, which I checked to make sure. So. Now we know that the radiator should be clean to put back in the loop. I'm going to try to get the whole engine operational. And once I get that, I'm going to throw the body panels back on. All right. Trunk open. Yep, I know that. Ready? All right, I got airbags. No, I just got, I got e-brake, seatbelt, and no, everything's normal actually. Everything is the exact same way it was. All right, so it's the third day of working on the car, and I got pretty far today. I got engine started and fenders and hood on. So those are the two main ones I wanted to get done. Take a look at it here. Of course, I had to get a new hood. Same fenders, uh, you already know, got the entire crash bar, got everything painted up the right way. I mean, radiator support, crash bar, got all custom, I mean all, all replaced. This, uh, this bracket, this channel right here that goes down to the bottom, got that replaced along with another one of these. I'm still having an issue with my hood saying it's open even though it's closed, so I'm going to See if I can raise that assembly up a bit. And I need to put in a put in a bolt down there, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I did? No, I, I did. Okay, we're good. Um what else? Yeah, it's uh it's running and it can move. All you need to do is throw the bumper cover on, which is over there. Put the grill parts in right there, and then uh it'll be about ready for paint. So this is day three of rebuilding the entire car, and I think we got pretty far. Update you tomorrow. Alright, so it is the fourth and hopefully final day. I just woke up, gonna get back to work. This is what we're working with. We got pretty much everything on except for the rest of the trim stuff over here. Uh, I got my Euro lights, so they have the, the white marker here. You'll see that later. And I'll explain that a little more in depth. I'm working on uh, the impact uh, little absorber thing right now uh it's really funky because i don't know if these clips are supposed to fit or not but uh the thing like bottoms out before the clip gets to the end so i'm just gonna leave it because i don't care that much and it's attached by the top yeah my hood latch does work because i uh i checked it 
Uh, and it does pop the hood, but something's wrong with the little sensor thing. Or uh, I'm assuming that's what detects the hood's closed. Maybe, maybe it's something else. But uh, if that's not, I'm going to look it up and change it. But I'm going to do that after I get the whole car put back together. Just so I can start checking things off. Um, I don't know, I was working. I really didn't want to put these on right away just because it seems super boring so I switched back to this so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that stuff on and uh, that's where I'll pick back up okay here we go we got the final product just got a little finishing touches I need to do here and there uh, I got the grill over there and it's too much of a hassle to get it to stick in there before paint so I'm just gonna take it over to the paint specialist with it out so now I got basically everything in. I just need to do a couple little things here and there. Like uh, just a couple of the plastic little inserts in there. These are the lights that I really liked. Uh, once everything's all black, that orange, that used to be orange. But now since those are the Euro headlights, these were the same price. They're like 30 each. So yeah, might as well just get the, get the ones I liked more. So, yeah, everything fits. There's just a couple little panel gaps that are wrong, but hey, for for what I did, I think it worked out pretty well. Yeah, so if we check it out. Yeah, the panel gaps here, which, which I actually improv because I didn't like the way these were mounted because they had like a, like a nut and a bolt that would tighten down. But look at the gap I got it to do with just two zip ties. Like, you can't get more perfect than that right there. Like, that's just, the only reason there's a little bit of movement in here is because the, what's it called? The wheel liner's in there. So, once I get everything else all buttoned up, I think it'll be uh, ready to head out. It looks hilarious with that, uh, with that grill off. But, yeah. I think we're going places. Uh, yeah, I was in the middle of that too. The other, with, with the other side off, it looks actually really, really good. Let's see. Once everything's all black, I think that'll look nice. So I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna wrap this video. I got basically the entire front end torn all the way off, all the way put back on, and then. Uh, then got some body panels on it, and is this job easy for, I don't know, it, I, if, if you know what you're doing, it's not that difficult, but you have to have the right tools, you have to be able to grind off the spot welds, and all you need is an angle grinder for that, if, you, uh, if you're willing to suffer for about a day, like a full day taking it off. So, I don't know, if you're in a front end accident and you don't want to fully part out your car, here you go, it's about 1500 bucks in parts, and... I think it turned out well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.